Hello, and welcome back to No Man's Land. I think we're up to day seven. Make sure I flush the toilet. Yep, we're good in there. Everything's all cleaned up. Don't have any guests or anything coming, but it's always good to keep everything nice. So I think today what we're going to do is we're going to go and check on our maple syrup. We've got some pallets here to collect all. We've got a lot of what's that, the potatoes. Nice. Each one of them is a thousand litres too. Nice. Sunflowers. Can I pick these up? These are all too heavy. So these don't work on their pallet mod, so we're going to have to get a lift. And I'm pretty sure that would be the same for the maple syrup pallets too. The only thing is, I don't think we can put... What can we put on this one? It's a medium tractor. I think we might take that up to the... Take that up to the, uh, the shop and... Oh no, I think we might actually have one. Yeah, we do here. I think we need to get forks. Well, we might, I might have already bought them as well. I don't know. I haven't used them. Right. I usually leave my forks and stuff around near the storage maintenance shed. Okay. Oh yeah. Look, there's a set there. We can we'll drop these here. We're definitely gonna need to get a flat deck trailer now. Um, Probably a bit hard to get them to onto that trailer, but I think that one can be modified, so not a big deal. Give it a try regardless. Actually, I wonder if the auto load trailer works for these pallets. Try that. When I first bought this trailer, I thought it was just a... I didn't know it was auto-load. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if it works with these old pallets as well. This came out before these did. It doesn't look like it wants to know them. Nope, doesn't want to borrow it. I know there is other auto load trailers that can do different things, so we can always lease one of them and try that out. Um, or we can just start to learn how to use these forks and and stack stuff on, which is probably uh, more realistic. I mean, I, I would love to give a, a realism or a survival challenge a go. I was thinking about starting one on um, Western Wilds. I was just waiting for the new map update to come out. Now that's out, you know, give that a shot too. So the question is, I don't think we've given ourselves enough room. It looked like we did when we were making it, but I don't think we have. Okay. But we can always pick them up this way, I guess. I don't know if we'll be able to on this tractor because it's a rather wide machine. Places they go in. I've been watching um, virtual farmer like he makes this look so simple. Just comes in, yoinks, all done. Okay, so these posts are going to be a bit of a pain for us, but for now it's going to got to get some in there. Very jittery. In jittery. Well, that's one success. Let's, um, see how many failures we have. I'll only pick up one or two more with these guys watching, and then I'll cut out of it and. Downside of this trailer being that little bit too wide, I think. Tractor. I 
There we get ourselves like a little telehandler or something like that. Not too bad so far. Watching um, Mr. Silly P and Virtual Farmer and all the guys that have been doing this forever. <laughs> Just giving me a few little hints and tips. Helps to that, I'll make a right ass of myself on this one. I think that's on properly, but we'll take it. Now it's on. So they get a bit jittery. They're going to go shooting off like that. At least it didn't go shooting into the air. That worked out better than I was expecting. Being on console, we don't have the um the huge strength. So, all right, I'll pick up the rest of these. See how much of a mess I can make, and we'll get back to you. <clears throat> oh, that was bad. Yeah, the last couple haven't gone so good. That hump in there for the wheel arch is just messed it right up and these are just getting jittery as look like that so I'm not sure what's causing that but we'll just throw them on for now I'm not sure if it's this, the forks on this or me or the trailer as soon as I start to get close to the trailer they just get all jittery and I'm gonna hop off so I'm just gonna put them on how we can for now figure that part out later Maybe they don't like getting picked up underneath in this small area like this. Or just get them at the wrong angle, I don't know. But Try to get that straight. Nope, not going to happen. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so I think... We might try and get a better suited trailer. I just don't know what really is out there for flat deck ones. We'll have to try and find something. It was all going so well at the start up there. But as soon as I got down near this hump, it was all over. So, we'll just take these to the sell all. We'll check the price first. Make sure we're not going to be ripping peeps off. That's cheap. It's, it's less at the sell all. So, In case everyone was asking. I'm not making any more money doing it here. Making ten dollars less per thousand liters. They are heavy. Really, a whole lot of cash. You wake up and check on our maple syrup. We'll get back to you when we're up there, hey? Right. First pallets of maple. Our maple factory. Oh, let's look at that. What the hell? That's not cool. If it's his tractor set up, he's doing it on the other pallets too, so that one's it's gonna suck trying to pick up that other one now. Yeah? These haven't been running for a full month either, they've only been on for a couple of hours, so well, that'll that'll do us for now. Just 
dump that on the trailer and I don't think this can be sold here at the normal sell all so we'll have to take it down to the farm that'll do I'll take it but yeah we're gonna have to figure something out I might at least like a telehander or a forklift and see if that fixes the issue And if it doesn't, we'll, we'll have to figure something else out. We've got some flour there too, so we'll pick that up shortly. There's a fair bit there actually. And I know there is another auto load trailer you can buy that was meant to do all sorts of things. So, yeah, so maple syrup can't be sold there. Let's have a look at these trailers. these ones here but I don't think they take them I don't think yeah it says no uh, I don't know that's the one we got there I think no it's not that's a different one we could always lease that and see if it works um, there was also some up here that I downloaded one you pick each certain one but this one doesn't say potatoes either so I think we're just gonna have to look at a forklift or it's just a pain in the bum if it if need be we can always sell the maple farm up here and uh, and take it down closer to the other thing so we're not running back and forth with a forklift uh, look at telehandlers I think See what they're worth. They're not cheap. 75 grand. 108 grand, 105 grand. So maybe for the next harvest we can lease one of them. I just wanted to see how much money we we're going to make. We only made four grand from the potatoes. But at the same time, that wasn't a full month. And we only, I don't know how much we're going to make from this, but it's only really quarter of a month or quarter of a day that we had it set up so I'll get back to you in a minute all right welcome back see so normally once we know how much we're going to be making each month from these things uh, you bugger so we're going to make about two grand from that that's just we're going to have to work out attach that back again i have to get the um that pallet off or at least flick back over We go. Yeah, so about twenty one hundred dollars for two pallets. So yeah, between between the potatoes and that, we just that's an extra six grand we made on top of what we'd normally make with the lettuce. That's still a win, but I think we're gonna have to turn this trailer into a flat deck trailer. And um sort out our fork set up a little bit better I think there's more potatoes are dropped okay so we'll leave them there because it's, it's well past the start of a day we'll throw this trailer in for the lettuce and we'll see if this works on the flour and then that way we can just concentrate on them um, Owning our skills once we get the new machine. Good little earners. I think we've got a field over here we're going to have to do today too. I don't know if that was sorghum or oat. It's one of the two. I'm pretty sure. Feels like it forever ago that we done it. That one's not picking up. There it is. We'll just drop this probably at the local buy point just here. Yeah, 
and make up for the money that we lost on the potatoes. Then we'll head up and we'll grab our flour. Come back and harvest the crop and look at what else we can do. We, all the grass is done. That's all um, rolled. Still got this field here to, to mature. That one over there is definitely done. Just shy of 6,000 litres for that one. Carnage, carnage. Twenty one thousand for that. So we're up about twenty six, twenty seven thousand for the month. Not too bad really. I have to swap this back over to the truck so it's a little bit faster. <laughs> I think it's parked up here on the road near where we left the um there it is we done the maple must have just left it there and exited and that was it i'll take that back tomorrow it was 1 30 or 2 o'clock in the morning so a little just my sensitivity on this controller it's a little tiny flick and it just shoots everywhere Alright, so we'll see if this works with the flower. Yep, looks like it is. Handy dandy. Holy crap. Wasn't expecting that. Wow, that was smashing through it. What's the price of flour? Shops a little bit more. I chewed through that, didn't it? Might be able to get our bakery sooner than I thought. Switch over to making some strawberries and. Okay, is that all of it first? We'll double check. That was going hard on it, wasn't it? Was not expecting that. Still got 230,000 litres of silage. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Still got 45,000 litres in there. That's because I haven't turned the wheat on. My bad. Not bad at all. This should be like thirty-five, thirty-six thousand dollars $36,000. Maybe more. How much are the bakeries? The whole production thing side of things on this is cool as. It just gives you that opportunity to do a little bit more, be rewarded a bit more. 37, 10, yeah, almost 38,000. Wicked. Alright, we'll get back down there and pop back in. Forgot to grab those sunflower ones, so we'll grab them too, just to see. Um, do them all at the same time and then we know what's what. We'll try and grab them both if we can. On one run and just take them to the sell all station a bit skew if but we'll see oh that's a bit dodgy need to get one of them big bag handler things 
let's see if we have a flip out or yeah, they're getting a bit jiggly and wiggly so we'll see but take it slow see how we go Oh, we made it. Not too bad. That is stuck in there now. What the hell is going on here? So four grand for that. So between that and the potatoes, it's about eight grand. But we got to figure out what the deal is. This isn't a modded anything. Um, the tractor may be modded, but I don't know. So I think maybe take that out of the picture. We'll just go and lease. It doesn't really matter now, but I think what we'll do is we'll release at least a small tractor or something that might fit in there a bit easier. Can you put the nope? Nope, not on that one either. This one has a front loader, but I don't know if it's much smaller. We'd always buy something like this or lease something like this. I do have the game on PC and I've got my little dongle thing so I can use my Xbox controller on it. Um, so we could always try that or we could just get a forklift. 37,000 for that thing. That's what we might do next next run, next month. We'll lease that. And um, we'll give that a shot I reckon because something's not right and I don't know if it's a tractor because it's modded or if it's modded forks or if it's just because I don't know, I haven't really done any of them, I haven't lifted any pallets on here, I've just been picking them up by hand alright, let's get this one out of the way so we can get to our header leave that there for now this up and go and sort that field out if it's ready which I think it is yep good to go might do a bit of a run around the edge and then we'll do a time lapse for you so you aren't stuck through it If we needed some extra cash, we could always just run around this whole paddock, collect, cut all this grass and tether it, turn it into hay, but I'm not, I'm trying to empty that silo at the moment, so I'm not a whole lot too fussed about that. Let's go.
We can never get it right, never get, <laughs> never seem to get a full last run. Pain in the butt. We're going to have to empty before we get that last little bit too, I'd say. I don't think we're going to. Might just leave the worker on that one for a second and go and get the truck. Throw that in. Soybeans. the best time to sell them. Um, I think I've got this set. I've got that fair price thing on. So anytime I guess. What is he doing? Right, we'll unload it and we'll do it ourselves because he's a pain in the butt and that tree's in the way by the look of it. Do this for a minute. We'll go and get the rest of this and be all done. Nice to try and get like another thousand liters, maybe. I think we started with 950, but we're probably only going to get three or four hundred. leaders not a, not a bad deal at all I will just take this over ourselves and I'm put, by the time we drive all the way down there we're gonna drive all the way back That's enough room for now. If we go any bigger, that's that's going to be an issue. I think this one's pretty good for what we've currently got, the field sizes and stuff, even though some of the fields are bigger. It works well, just um, storage, having more storage in them would be cool. I've seen some guys streaming, they've got me and Lita storage, and although it's highly unrealistic, it makes the game a little bit easier sometimes, especially if you're not playing full-blown realism. That's what I've got to decide where we're going to do a realism one on. Do we do it on No Man's Land? Do we do it on Western Wilds? The new Australian map even? Um, I don't know. Elm Creek or something. Might have to fire up the PC because there's more maps on that. Might find a better map. Um, and a lot of people have done sort of survivals and realism on a lot of the maps too so I try to be cool to try something different 
I was going to start like a, I've done like one episode, I haven't posted it yet, like a lumber sort of style, but um, Mr. Silly P's doing the same thing, so I don't, yeah, I'll probably wait a while for that, or we'll do something different. at all. Alright, I think we'll go up there and we'll get that ploughed. And, um, yeah, be good to go. Alright, so we got going to need some maintenance on this tractor soon too. It's getting a bit up there. We'll get up here and we'll cultivate this. We'll seed it. We'll roll it. See what else we can find around the place today. Let's go. So we're just getting rid of this uh, rest of this seeding going. We're throwing down some barley. Barley, barley. Um, and that's it. Do that. Well, that's gone actually. I might duck across and get our roller. Start rolling. It's starting to get a bit late in the day, so have to make sure that's all sorted. Probably should look at getting a fertilizer spreader too, so we can get the second um, lot of fertilization going. What's this one saying? We're good. Yep, see, only up to 50, so we're going to have to give that a bit of a fertilize. We get out here, so there's nothing, needs rolling. 73% needs rolling. Come on, gotta catch it before we turn. Come on, come on. There we go. Um, so yeah, I best, guess we better look at fertilizer. Fertilizer spreaders, sprayers. cheap at all. Thirty three meters. I mean that little one does twenty four meters. Doesn't hold much though. I suppose that tank there for the front of it, right? So between those two we got about three thousand meters. I may as well just get this one.
What we might do is we might just lease this first and see if it's a goods. Make sure it's what we need. And then if it's good, we'll come back and buy one and modify it and do all the, the good stuff to it. But we're getting it, getting it done. We might um send this tractor up to get it so we're not wasting time just hanging around for the other stuff to be finished. I think that's the first time this equipment's been unattached from this tractor the whole time since we've owned it. Crazy. See if he heads on. See you, bye. So yeah, this is um low tint on this and look how dark it is. So yeah, next time I do it, it looks cool when they're tinted, but it doesn't not really cool when you want to drive in it if it's getting a bit later in the afternoon I'm not sure how clear it'll come out in the video but it doesn't look too clear on my monitor are you serious come on let's just let's just get a boogie going Slow, slow, slow. Yes, I'm not sure we'd, whether we're going to do a, a uh, survival realism sort of style series here or on um, Western Wilds or maybe the new Australian map. You know, so that's where I'm from. Just something random. I don't know. I'll have to have a play around with a couple of them and see what's going to suit us. I've never done one before. Probably be crappy. <laughs> but we got to learn. Probably be a bit of a challenge for me because I'm not used to it. I'm always doing like the TLX trucks and um, upgrading stuff as soon as you can because you know you've got money coming in. But got it. That's yeah, pretty big, pretty pretty decent. Thirty three meters. I'm not sure. Might not. It might shouldn't interfere with any of the trees we've got. The flowers pumping out. It's already chock us full again. One more little run, and he's done. Roller's doing well, but I think we're definitely going to have to. Um, I'm just going to drive this back. I hate waiting for him. Definitely going to have to service that JCB shortly. She's getting up there. I filled it up with fuel a day or so ago when we were up at the shop. Um, I don't think we serviced it up there. So We'll see how we go. Throw some, um, I suppose you don't have to open the top to fill this one then. Doesn't look like it. See how expensive this is going to be. Uh, not too bad. It's only 4,000 litres though too, so. How's this going for fertilisation? Full to the brim. Yeah, that's 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 pretty wide. Not too bad at all, really. Alright, we will pack this up, 
Okay, the, the service shed. Check on both of them. Wouldn't expect the cedar to have a whole lot of usage yet, but I don't know in this game compared to FS19 and others, the, the wear and tear is crazy. Like the tractors were out before you do a full tank of fuel, so. see what we got we can't repair the paint here but it still looks pretty decent so that's not an issue 10k for that 1600 for that the paint wears out so fast on them too it's crazy i got that there is that a, i wonder if that'll spread fertilizer as well as lime i'll have to check that Let's look and get some moo moo cows soon so we can maybe use the manure and slurry. So I'm sort of happy now that we only um lease that one because I was sitting there thinking about that. Once we get cows we're going to have all that manure and slurry we can use for something too. There's the first fertilizer in there. I'm a dick. Super lucky that we brought we we only leased that one I guess. Getting there, getting there. All right, so just finishing up with that. Just bought us a new trailer. We just bin this and send that back as well because we don't need it and we got way too much stuff that's leased so that can stay there like that for now <clears throat> we'll end up buying some more of this stuff um what I'm thinking of doing, I did buy another trailer for the pallets. I just bought a flat deck lizard trailer. Um, nine grand, so I thought we'd give it a go. It, it, it came as a fifth wheel or as a bumper pull. So I left it with a bumper pull so we can pull it with the tractors as well. I'll send this one up there to go and do that. He can grab it. Finish off this rolling. And then that's, that's pretty much all the jobs for the day. Um, done and dusted. I think my next one will probably be on Maypole or the Western Wilds. I might do the, um, I might try out the lumber. Start down the bottom of the map or something. Start with the truck and chainsaw or a sawmill or something. That'll do us, I reckon. Nothing special. It's just good. To, it's fun for me to try different stuff too. I know people don't like watching the, the tree stuff as much. So I'll try and limit it. But um, it's just good to learn a different way to run certain things. and Instead of just jumping in and getting greenhouses and all sorts of stuff straight away. Alright, so we'll throw that there. Put this here. Check where our tra other trailer is. Oh, these guys are crazy so Should have been there by now, boy. Alright, we'll get back to you once we're there. Alrighty, so we'll go up and get this trailer and then we'll get rid of the other junk that way if we start doing any more lumber in this game we can um, just use the mobile lumber mill or buy a better trailer that suits the lumber I wonder while we're up here with the trailer do we own the other one sell that one for now the money we just made from that 
Nothing over in there that I need. We might buy a forklift, or do we buy like a front front loader? I don't know. Um, the telly handle is a pretty cool, like that thing there. Should be way more than we need. Leaf that. Probably should have checked to see if we've actually got decent forks. These are just in-game ones. Shouldn't be a major issue. We'll buy them regardless because we'll probably end up with a telehandler. And I know you can buy a little hitch thing for the back of these, so if you ever needed to, you can... I don't know what that means. Buy that and whack that on it too, and then it's going to be a bit more of a handy dandy machine. So, can that thing go on the front, or does it have to go on the back? If it goes on the back, it means this thing could tow the trailer around to get the logs. Usually, these things won't hook up to a trailer, so I've seen that in the mod store that I'm like, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get a telehandler next time. There you go. So now we can tow trailers and put things on the back of this and we've got an extra vehicle. Hasn't got a whole heap of power, I don't think, but um, we may be able to use that for some of the jobs instead of hiring the other tractor. That's 230.55. Oh yeah, we're not going to have something with that much power. <laughs> this is only 130, but you never know, I might be able to do some stuff. We can take all this down in one go. And then tomorrow we can give it a, a shot. We're all tied down and we're good to go. So we'll get this back. Make sure everything's finished for the day. And we'll sign off. But don't know, yeah, so this is going to be handy. We can come up here and do it with this and the uh, maple syrup as well. So, yeah, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, check out our Discord in the description for more fun and questions between the games. Have a good night, day, it's night time here, sorry, have a good day or night, keep safe and see you in the next one.